Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Nolan or the Optimistic Gamer here and welcome back to our final part of the hotel tutorial. I know I said I was going to do two more parts for this. We would do the lobby slash rest of the interior and then the exterior. But I don't know about you, but I am just ready to be finished with this. So I am going to skip the interior, the lobby and the second floor and we will just move straight to the exterior. But if you guys really want the interior, let me know in the comments and I will definitely make a video for that. But I am certainly ready to be done with this project. It has been quite large. So let's finish up the exterior and call it good for this hotel. All right, and we're going to do this a little bit at a time, just kind of chipping away at it. We will start with the parking lot. The materials we will need for that are gray, white, and blue concrete powder. Make sure these are the powders. They have a nice texture. Mud bricks and smooth stone. To start, go to your front door, and we are going to wreck the first two blocks in front of our door. And we are going to have a sidewalk that goes all the way across the front and fill that in with smooth stone just like this. And we will do this end to end. All right, so nothing too complicated there. Let's move on to the drop off area underneath our awning. To do that, just find the inner corners of our pillars right here and connect those just by wrecking the grass and then make a straight line going towards the hotel building itself just like this and wreck all of this grass in between here and replace it with mud bricks next what you want to do is similar to the sidewalk up against the hotel we are going to have a two block wide path with smooth stone all the way around these mud bricks including in the front and kind of work around the pillars just like this and do this on all of the sides. All right, so that should look something like this. Let's go ahead and work on the bulk of the parking lot. You're probably gonna wanna use the fill command for this one. So find one corner of the sidewalk at the end and you can use the fill command by typing slash fill space and then just hit tab a few times until you get to the set of three coordinates. And then you can just hit enter, don't hit anything else. And then we are going to fly to our other point. So go to the other end of the sidewalk. And from this stone slab, we will count going this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twenty-seven blocks. And when you're looking at that block, hit slash and then hit the up arrow, it'll bring up our previous fill, and then hit space, tab to the three coordinates, and we are going to type gray underscore concrete powder, we can go ahead and select that, but this is very important, hit space, and then find replace, space again, grass block, and then when we hit enter, it will replace all of our grass blocks in that selection with concrete powder. So it should be looking about like this now. So this is kind of the start of our parking lot. Let's go ahead and create the drop off zone area. So find the sidewalk here and then this block count one, two, three on the fourth. That first concrete powder wreck that wreck the second one and then we are going to go in two into and once more go in two just like that we will do the exact same thing on this side so one two one two one two and one two this is just so no cars park here and block the drop off zone now we will do our handicap spaces so for that go to the end of the white concrete powder Find that first gray and wreck one, two, three, four, five going away from the hotel. Leave a three block gap, one, two, three, four, five. Just like this. We can go ahead and fill those in. Leave one more three block gap and one more solid blue line. And then next to that, going away, we will do diagonals in blue 
all the way until we reach the end. So that should be looking something like this. We can do the exact same thing over here with those lines. So one, two, three, four, five, and then a three block gap, five more concrete, three block gap, five more concrete, and the diagonal until we get to, did I? Okay, one out and then the diagonal. Oops, I am all over the place. Here we go. So it should look like this. All right, now we can move on to our regular parking spaces. So to start, we will go to the end of the sidewalk here and find the middle and wreck those middle five concrete powder. Actually, go six. Go six out just like this. And then go sideways in each direction and break a solid line of gray concrete powder all the way until the end and replace that with white concrete powder, just like this. And then we can go in and fill in every three blocks the same way we were doing with the parking spaces before to create all of these spaces and we will go back. We will do the same on this side as well. Go back and fill in all of these lines. All right, so that will be looking about like this. Now we are going to leave a nine block gap. Find any of these lines, leave a nine block gap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect, it should be all the way to the end and just line up all of those lines and do the exact same thing on this side. Remember, we are going to have a solid line, so these need to be five, and then a solid line on the sixth. Do the exact same thing, just mirrored on this side. And go ahead and fill in all between those lines with gray concrete powder, and it should be looking about like this. Now we are going to make our road that allows us to get into this parking lot. So just bring this out, and by the way, we should have these little notches here on the end, that's okay. We can actually go ahead and get rid of those. And this will serve as a marker for a seven block wide lane. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the road to get through to the drop-off zone will be seven blocks wide. And we will fill in with no markings all the way until we line up with this gray concrete powder up here. So it, we will fill in all of this on both sides. All right, so now our parking lot should be looking something like this. Let's go ahead and add some more parking spaces. So to do that, we will just go to this side of the line and keep continuing on with our pattern of the five concrete powder every three blocks and fill in with concrete powder, as well as an additional one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, feel free to use the fill and replace command to make this go much faster. All right, our parking lot should now be looking like this. Let's go ahead and do some landscaping work, as well as create our exit. So go over to either side of the hotel, it doesn't matter where, and we will build just kind of a oh seven block wide entrance actually let's go nine well no we'll go seven just to match the lane that we already have and just extend this out so this would kind of be where your main road would go or at least your through road to get to the hotel that way you can access the parking lot and all of that. So we will fill in with concrete powder just however long you need. This is nine blocks going this way, but if your road is way over there, you can extend it for a little ways. And we are just going to fill all of this in with concrete powder. All right, so that should be looking about like this. Let's go ahead and do the parking lots on the sides. These are going to be very simple. So we will continue with our smooth stone sidewalk two blocks wide on the sides of the hotel. We can do the same thing over on this side. So just extend two blocks past and go down just like this. 
And then we will extend the concrete powder going down this way all the way until the end. And let me show you what that looks like real quick. All right, so I just continued on with our line of concrete powder on both sides. You can see the smooth stone in place now. And we will not, we don't want this to extend all the way out because that's gonna be way too big of a plot. But we want to find where we have this first white line and go one block over. That is where we are going to start this road. So we will extend it out, we already have four. Let's go. 14 in total so here's four we want 10 more so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten just like this so it's a row of 14 gray concrete actually go 15 16 17 18 19 yeah 19 gray concrete from the smooth stone lined up with the end of the pillar just like that and extend this on both sides all the way to the end. All right, so when you have this, you can get your white concrete powder, go to the front corner uh, smooth stone that we have right here and on that first gray concrete powder, replace it with white and just do five diagonals so it should look like this and then go over one and extend that back towards the hotel for this shape and we will continue on with our parking spaces every three blocks until we reach, oops, that is two, every three blocks until we reach the end. And when you get to the end, we will have three concrete powder left over. We can just start to work our diagonals back. And once we get back here, just extend it straight back towards that smooth stone and just fill in with the white concrete powder so it should look like that. All right, we are just about finished with the parking lot. Now leave a nine block gap, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the next five blocks should be um, all the way up until the grass and we will just mirror what we have on that side with our parking spaces every three blocks. So this is looking pretty square. Let's go ahead and round this off. So go to this corner right here, leave the first three concrete powder going this way, and then rack one, two, three, and then go diagonal, rack one, two, diagonal again, one, two, and then one, 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 two, one, two, and one, two, three. So we should have this shape like this. Now we can go ahead and wreck the remaining gray concrete powder and fill this in with grass. Yep, that is much better. And now let's go ahead and add one more parking space here, leave a three block gap, and we can go ahead and fill in a line like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing over on this side. All right, so our hotel parking lot should be looking about like this. I think we can call it good there. So now all we want to do is go around and just make a sidewalk completely surrounding the parking lot so that it's a little more accessible. And when we get to the curve, I will show you how to do this part right now. So we will have our sidewalk coming from this side all the way up until the end. The easiest way to do this is just go one at a time, not filling in in between the diagonals and just kind of tracing the circle like this. And then this will be two blocks wide, we already know that. And then I'm going to go back and trace it again, like this. And then, finally, I will go do the corners, each of the corners. So right here, here, and then all the diagonals. And then we have a nice curved sidewalk just like that. So I will do the same thing over on this side. I will do a sidewalk here all around the parking lot and going around the back. And once that is all finished, your parking lot should be looking about like this. So it's looking very complete now. I am going to go ahead and put in a simple crosswalk right here. Just a few white lines every block. Perfect. 
All right, now all we need to do is add some details, so landscaping, trees, some uh, street lights right here in the middle, and we will have a completed hotel. So let me show you a few different designs so you can kind of get some ideas and inspiration. For the street lights, go ahead and take out some andesite walls and yeah, we'll just start with the andesite walls. And I kind of space these out every couple parking spaces or so. So I'm going to put one, I'll actually put one here on the end. Well, yeah, I'll put one there on the end and then I'll go maybe three parking spaces and just kind of place these, you know, about like that. Actually, if we go one block in from each side, then we will have it centered, which I will be much happier with. Okay, so I went every three parking spaces, one block in on each side. Let's go ahead and build these up, oh, say maybe 12 to 15 blocks. We'll start with 12 and see how it looks. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think 12 will be a good height. And then at the top, we can just extend it out a couple blocks in each direction, like this. And we will just keep doing the same thing, building up 12 blocks and out in each direction, like so. All right, it should be looking about like this. I'm actually going to take out some andesite blocks, just regular andesite. And here at the bottom, actually, I'm going to use yellow concrete powder instead, not glazed terracotta. So take out some yellow concrete powder and you can go ahead and replace the bottom. Yeah, I like the bottom too, actually. Replace the bottom two andesite walls with yellow concrete powder to kind of give it that um, bottom, the visible base of the street light. That's the, that's what I'm going for. And then we will do the street lights themselves, which we can use, hmm, perhaps cauldrons, or maybe I'm thinking hoppers as well. Could look good. Let's see. So here's cauldrons. That's got a pretty nice look to it. And here's hoppers. You know, I think I really like the cauldrons. Use whatever you want if you would actually like it to light up. These might be a little high for the light to reach the ground. You might get a couple of um, blocks lit up, but because they are 12 blocks off the ground, it won't be very many. So you can use any block up here and use some clear lights the actual light blocks just give at p light and you can light up around those but i really like this look and now we just need to do some landscaping i'm going to extend this sidewalk out until we hit our main road here i will do this on both sides just like this and Real quick, I'm going to go ahead and build a main road. So I will turn the sidewalk. I'm going to extend this out just a couple more blocks. I'm going to go ahead and turn the sidewalk in each direction like this and have a main road here. So it'll be 15 blocks long. So four three wide lanes with the lane markers in between. And then I have some smooth stone on either side. I will go ahead and actually replace this with gray concrete powder. And we will put in another crosswalk here. So this is just to kind of give you an idea of how this road might connect with your main road. Of course, it could be a much smaller road, an access road, anything like that. But this is just to kind of give you some idea of it. I am going to go ahead now and plant some trees or maybe just build them. I'm not really sure. Let's start with some spruce. Pine trees always look great. So grab some spruce logs, spruce leaves and go maybe find the middle of this section here. It should be, well, 
whatever your middle is, it could be a long ways. I'm gonna go three blocks from this sidewalk in the parking lot. And then two blocks from this sidewalk here, and we will go every seven blocks with our spruce trees and build these up until they are a little bit lower than the uh, street lights here. And then maybe two blocks from the bottom, I'll just kind of build out a pattern like this. And we will see kind of how this looks. I. I haven't actually tested this at all, so I have no idea how this will turn out, but we are about to find out. Actually, this tree has a really nice look to it, so let me show you how to build it. So go two blocks from the top on that third block up, extend three leaves on all sides in each direction. Then we are going to go one block in and we are going to make this little corner L shape in each section here, all four sides. So it should look like this and then we can go ahead and fill in those leaves on the bottom. Next we are going to do three rows, or I guess um, rows of three leaves all across the sides. One block in from that last block that sticks out so we have this little square ish thing and then fill in the leaves in between that next on the middles of each of those sides extend that up by two more sets of leaves on all four sides and then go diagonal from all of those and go up three so one two three one two three one two three and one two three and then fill in those gaps also three blocks high to match the leaves that we just placed and then we can place a leaf on the top log and fill in around it. So it all depends on how tall your tree is for the how the top will look. So this one is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine logs tall. This one is eight. But say you had one that was 10 blocks tall, you would just continue the leaves up just a little more like that. So I'm going to do a few of these with variations in their height all along here and we should have a very nice looking row of trees. Alright so all of our trees are in place it's creating a pretty nice barrier between the hotel and the main road here. I'm going to do a little bit more landscaping add some podzel in here maybe some I'm not sure dirt coarse dirt just things like that kind of make it a little more rough and we should have a pretty finished hotel all right so in here i did grass podzel gravel tough and coarse dirt so that has a very nice look and i think we can call it for this hotel finally i know this was a very big project again if you guys want me to do the lobby as a tutorial let me know and I would be more than happy to do that, but give it a shot. Get in here, see what you can come up with yourself. Remember, with the stairwell, it just comes all the way down. You can put a pool in somewhere over here, have a front desk, a nice little lounge area, and a uh, breakfast buffet, restaurant even. You know, get creative with it, see what you come up with, and send me pictures. I'd love to see what you guys come up with in your hotel lobbies but guys that is going to do it for this hotel tutorial series thank goodness it was a lot of work but i think it definitely paid off if you did enjoy it please hit the like button down below make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on daily content if you have any requests you can leave those via the link that just appeared in the top right corner or down in the comments below if you need to contact me, you can DM me on Twitter or Instagram at OptimisticGMR or email me, op contactOptimisticGamer at gmail.com. And head over to my website to check out a gallery page, news, updates, all of that good stuff, the OptimisticGamer.com. The link is in the description. But that is all I have for you. Comment, like, subscribe. Remember to stay optimistic, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye.